faves and fails. A lot of you guys gave me the tip to try the Real Her Brow Definer. Something I purchased from the Ulta 21 Day Sale that I wanted to give you an update on. It clumps them together. Not only does it clump them together, it like has little ball clumps. Okay, please don't hate me. Let's just remember, makeup is subjective. All of our chemistry is different. Let's move on to other stuff. So I still need to get into some boxy charm. April base box goodness, because this is the base box I pay for. I'm so excited to get to share her spring collection because, oh my gosh. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the April faves and fails. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Nicole, and I love doing all kinds of makeup about BoxyCharm, drugstore makeup, lifestyle, a lot of things, a lot of reviews go on here, and usually we get a bit chatty, so we always have a glass of something with us. Today's beverage of choice is a glass of ice water with some pineapple, berries, and kiwi in here. I am getting over a nasty cold, so I'm sounding a little raspy today, guys, but there is so much makeup on my face today. I have like a full glam look going, and this is something I've not done, I feel like, in forever. And a lot of the products that I have on my face today are products that I'm going to be reviewing with you. Now, some of these are going to be faves and fails, because I do that every month with you guys, and as long as I'm seeing some like thumbs up on these videos and comments below that you are still enjoying faves and fails I will continue to do these with you guys also as a fun little extra piece to add in today we are going to be going through something that came super delayed but I think this happened either last month or the month before so you won't be too shocked that we're gonna be adding in a whole new boxy charm this is a base box reveal wear test some thoughts of my own about the products I got because as many of us know boxy charm has been crazy crazy delayed super duper delayed a lot of you guys commiserated with me in my last video that was my boxy charm honest user reviews that I do the deep dives on every single month with you and let me know your boxes are still either like in holding because they're not even been put to shipping but the labels been made or maybe it's on its way to you finally a lot of us are seeing growing pains with both boxy charm and ipsy this year so there are also some fails I have with boxy that have happened since that last video so I need to give you guys some updates and I had to talk to their customer service it was a thing I'm also super duper excited about some amazing lifestyle updates for you guys I have used some brands in the past that I let you guys know I was really enjoying and I've got some updates on some things that are really really great that I can't wait to share with you and how I can save you guys I think some money on some products for maybe Mother's Day or springtime all kinds of good stuff I also love to do monthly shout outs with you guys because if you are new here, you may not know, I talk to you guys all the time, whether it is on Instagram or here in my comments. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I've got to do a little plug here. You can follow me right here. I do interact with you guys. I respond to as many DMs as I can post with you, give you stories about updates, behind the scenes things, because there's always so much going on. So stay tuned to the end of this video where I am going to be shouting out a few of you guys. Now, without further ado, there is a lot of products to get through, including a boxy charm. So grab your tea, grab your snack, get comfy, because we are going to be going through all of this goodness together. Cheers! I'm not used to seeing myself with so much glam on. I feel like my makeup today with the lashes, the full, like, coverage, everything going, I feel like this makeup is very, like, I don't know, 2017, 2016 maybe, but I'm kind of vibing with it because there's also some natural things that have been brought into this, but I had so many good things in here. I cannot wait to tell you about all the stuff that I received from Boxy, some things I didn't receive from Boxy. That's another story, but let's start with some faves. I love starting out these these videos on a positive note. So, whew, where do we start? There are two products in here I don't even have to hold up for you or swatch for you because I have used them up. And I feel like I've only had them in my beauty space for a small amount of time, but that just tells you I use them every single day. So I kind of need to start with this because I'm trying to figure out what I want to buy next. Should I repurchase? Should I try new? Let's talk about brows a hot second. A lot of you guys gave me the tip to try the Real Her Brow Definer or Thin Ultra Thin Brow Pencil. I can't remember the full name off the top of my head, but I'm going to have to insert like a picture for you here because I used it up. I used that whole thing up. 
I really love a defined pencil to kind of start the front part of my brows because I do have really big brows that kind of fit my face frame, but at the same time, they're kind of sparse. It's that, you know, if you grew up in the 90s situation where Pam Anderson and the thin eyebrows were such a trend, it really did us dirty for later in life because a lot of us now have to really fill in our brows. And some of us just weren't, you know, blessed with Brooke Shields type brows. I feel like I'm dating myself with that brow reference because I know there's a lot more up and coming people on Instagram and stuff that you could reference, but that's who comes to my brain. My millennial is showing, I know. But I loved starting my brows with that. It gave you a nice touch to the front where they looked feathered, but not too blocky, not too thick. It lasted all day. And then you could still run it through the rest of your brows to really fill in. And then you could assist with powders or whatever. I used that up. I used that up and I'm really, really considering purchasing that again because it was so great to use. But then I'm like, you went through it so fast. Was there enough product? Was it a you thing? Was it an it thing? But you guys loved it too. So I'm really considering repurchasing that already. I missed that product already. And I also used up the Brow Bar by Rima Definer Pencil as well because I got that with um, something they had sent me with PR because they watched my videos, saw that my color matching wasn't too great because I have darker hair, but it's a deep rich color, not a red tone. So they sent me some products because they wanted me to review them with my lighter skin. It was a whole thing. I was awesome. But then I used that pencil up too and it's pretty much gone. The only thin tipped definer brow pencil I have left in my beauty space at this moment, which is kind of surprising to me how many, cause how many I've been bringing in so much is the elf one. And I do still really love the elf one. I'm just shocked how fast I'm kind of like burning through them. I guess when you got bossy brows and brows are on trend, it's just one of those things. I also notice, okay, I'm just gonna, am I gonna out myself right now? Maybe I will out myself right now and tell you some little tea. Oh, my phone, you know how when you look at your phone, it can open up just by having your face in the viewfinder in the camera piece up here. I'm officially a catfish. It's just the thing. I must be a catfish because unless I have brows on, it doesn't recognize me. And I have pretty decent brows, not like super thick brows like you see on right now, but decent brows without makeup. Not great. Not, not amazing, but you know, decent and it does not open. It will not open. I have to use my passcode every time I'm looking, trying to get into my phone when I don't have any makeup on, or at least a light bit of brow on. It is, I, I catfish myself apparently, or at least my phone. So <laughs> I definitely think brows have been really important for me and my phone. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Do you have any other tips or other brow products that you enjoy that are for that fine tipped definer portion of a pencil where you could just get that front part going. Let your girl know because I have bought your references before. I bought your suggestions and they've worked great. So keep me, keep me posted below. What are you loving? Or do you still just prefer the real her? Let me know. I did look in the latest BoxyCharm add-ons for it and I didn't see it. Really heartbroken because you never know what's going to be in there. Something I purchased from the Ulta 21 day sale that I wanted to give you an update on because for those of you that are newer to my channel, I live in Tampa where summer comes early and it gets hot quickly. So I really wanted to invest this year in a good moisturizer SPF product. I found on the Ulta 21 day sale this for half off, which was a great deal because this is like crazy pricey, at least for me, to purchase on the regular without knowing how I felt about it. Murad Essential C Moisturizer. This is something that has SPF in it and it's a great moisturizer that I can wear under my makeup. It has an SPF of 30 in it and I just love that because my face is where I always add that extra SPF because yeah, I don't mind having a pale face because I can always warm it up with bronzers, contours, all that good stuff. Um, so I'm very protective because we're also trying to anti-age the whole thing. And I love this so far. I've even had my husband using it because he likes to golf every weekend. And I'm always like, okay, what are you using for skincare? Are you wearing a sunscreen? And when I told him, I said, you may want to try this. He's always open to my skincare as a lot of you guys know. So he's actually really enjoying this as well. He's in the sun way more consistently than I am and has been using this since I purchased it a month ago and is really enjoying it. He's not had any burns or anything. I've been using this. We've even had a beach day or two in there for his birthday this month and a few other things where we've just been out in the sun a lot more. And I have applied this 
under makeup and with nothing else. And I really like this. I am ten I tend to burn way easier than him too. I tend to burn up here on the forehead, on the nose. I'm fair skinned than him though. So I knew that the real test was gonna be on my skin, but because he was more consistently in the sun, I wanted him to always take care of his skin, but try it out as well. Cause he has a deeper complexion than I do. But we are both really enjoying this. So I wanted to give you guys an update because I know spring is now here. Summer is coming. And a lot of you guys last year were like, hey, what do you like for SPFs and stuff? And I was still kind of figuring my way through it. This is something I'm really enjoying. And now that the season is upon us, I needed to give you an update to let you know it is doing great. I've not burned. I've not turned red. And I tend to burn pretty quickly on my face. I wanted to also give you some updates on powders. These are definitely favorites for me for the month of April. April. I got them in March, so I feel like you've probably heard me speak about them recently, and maybe you've heard me or seen me try them on on Instagram or here, but I need to give you an update on how much I am using these products because I'm a powder lover. If you are newer here, I have oilyish skin, a little combo-y, and I am in the humid state of Florida, and it's a very wet state. We get a lot of rain, so I'm always looking a little... Um, a little greasy sometimes if I'm not careful. So I'm always trying to find great powder products that work for me so I can tell you guys about them and I have bossy pores. So there's a lot of things that go on with this face and two of these products, one is drugstore, one is high end. I cannot wait to share with you. I told you guys that CoverGirl came out with this crazy amazing powder, but it was pretty pricey. You kind of got to shop around. I've seen it a little bit cheaper at Walmart and Target. It kind of depends. So keep your eye out for some better deals for like at least 12 bucks. Cause when I purchased this, it was 17 something and change. I was like, CoverGirl, I, I didn't expect you to rob me, but I love your products and I trust you. So, <laughs> okay, let's see. I'll take one for the team to tell my friends how it is. This is the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Wrinkle Blurring Powder. This stuff shocked me in so many ways. I told you guys I started using it with this little sponge that it comes with, but then I found that to be almost overwhelmingly blurring, which sounds weird, but it can be too much on my skin. So what I've started doing with this product is getting a brush, dipping into the product and applying it exactly where I need it. It still blurs with a brush, at least for me, but it's not as overwhelming. Sometimes I need it to be overwhelming depending on what my base makeup looks like. But if I'm doing a really neutral, easy breezy face that's more of a light to medium coverage, this can be either great depending on the look or too much. So a, a brush has worked out great for me. I did want to give you an update on something I noticed with the sponge though. So I used the sponge a lot when I first got it and then I started to notice and there's a little bit of there on there now where it kind of, this formula is unique in such a way that I don't even know how to articulate it. It feels like it's finely milled but pressed and when it gets onto the sponge, after a while it'll cake up. I'm not sure if you can see where it gets a little shiny, but kind of like here on the edges and right here, it started to really be a detractor to use this because it was like pulling the product. It wasn't applying smoothly because I think the product really does do a lot of different things in it. So what I did was just start scraping off or cleaning my sponge. You should clean your sponges anyway, no matter what kind they are, whether they're in a compact or not, but it happened a lot um, sooner than I thought this would. So just be sure to clean your sponges so that way you don't get a lot of cake up because that can affect how the powder applies to your face. But other than that, I am telling you this powder, I have raved for years and a lot of you have purchased the powder because I've talked about it. The Advanced Radiance Powder in the Compact I've loved for years. Hold on. Uh, this is probably my, I don't know, 10th in my life, not an exaggeration. And I have another backup because I already have pan on this baby because I love this. I use it so frequently, but since purchasing this, I can tell you, I tend to rotate a bit more. If I'm just having a day where I just need a little bit under the eyes and I don't need to worry about the pores and the blurring and stuff, I will still stick with this because this is still a ride or die and cheaper. It is cheaper. I'll tell you that now. But this product, I mean, it's definitely changed the game. So if you were a girl that maybe be, has a little bit more maturity to your skin, or maybe you have a lot more pores, like I have really bossy pores up front, this will blur them. I'm just witchcraft in a compact, still loving it, but wanted to give you that update. This next powder is the Fenty powder. And I did get this from BoxyCharm, but the good news is, is when I do the deep dives about the products, you don't have to get BoxyCharm to decide, okay, this is a good product. I want to invest my dollars in it because just because I get it in a BoxyCharm doesn't mean you can't go buy it from the brand or get it at Ulta or Sephora, wherever. This is the Fenty Pro Filter Instant 
retouch setting powder and I have seen this in the BoxyCharm um, add-ons and pop-ups both versions I'm pretty sure mine is in the shade cashew and I like this to start a bronze look after I do my foundations concealers and essentially one of these powders I then kind of start with the face shaping I have a more squarish face shape so what I try to do is just give myself a little bit more cheekbone I like to call it you know put back in what God forgot a little bit add that in and even when I'm not really contouring, because a lot of us aren't really contouring anymore, we're really going to a more of a natural look, I will take a fluffy brush and really just wisp this in this portion of my face, kind of warm up around the edges, and kind of go across my nose. This, this product gives such like a nice coverage. It's finely, finely milled, so it really gets in with your skin, but be careful. You may cough it up a little bit. You may get it in your nose and stuff. It can just be on its own because it's the perfect shade for me that just looks like a light tan in a way. And if I'm just having a neutral day, I can just do that and be done. Just be done. Or I use it as a start for other shimmerier powders that really also help to blur and accent this portion of my face that can get oily or show my bossy pores. This product is, I'm, I'm afraid to open it because I did a little like jiggling with it this morning and more product came out of the sifter than I meant for it to, but it really does, I have a full glam on today. So it kind of feels like it may be a little overpowering compared to what maybe most people are doing at the moment. But this is how I've started most of my bronzing slash warming of the faces every single day since getting it. And I've been super consistent with using it. I'm gonna take forever to go through all this product too. Oh, I just spilled it all over my laptop. Oh, no. When will I learn to not put things over the laptop? The small setup here. Sometimes it's just so organic. Ah! Either way, this is a very finely milled powder is where I think I was going with all of that. I've had to clean up the laptop. I think it's okay, but ugh, goodness gracious. What a mess. I'm going to have this product for a really long time. I think it does a beautiful job applying to the skin it helps to mattify but not be crazy mattified i i think i said this before it's such an interesting formula that it's hard to articulate that it doesn't make you look like you have no shine to your face because then you're just looking like a mask it doesn't look natural and natural is definitely where makeup has really gone this past year so i could tell you i think it does a beautiful job of just being skin like but giving you coverage. I'm really enjoying this powder a lot because I'm also now into the season where the color matches are working better for me and I was kind of wanting to go a little zhuzhy. Even when I'm doing a light makeup look, sometimes you just want to blur out or really cancel out any discoloration, pores. You just want your skin to look glass-like. Really, that's kind of where the trends with makeup are going, natural and glass-like skin. A foundation I let you guys know about, I think last year in the fall that I loved, but haven't pulled it out too much to rediscover it, is the Natasha Denona product. This is the Transform Matte Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation. I have this in two shades. The main one I have is 40N Light Medium Neutral. This shade works great for me, but I also was gifted by one of you guys because you said you purchased this and it was a bit too dark for you. 45N Medium Neutral. I've kind of found over the past year or two, neutral tends to be my undertone. I used to think I would lean more pink. And at one point I thought, no, I must lean the other way because that's not feeling right. Maybe it's yellow. I'm neutral. So sometimes that's hard to find. Sometimes it's easy to find. I find these to be not only a great color match for me, but also they make my canvas, the face, canvas for the rest of your makeup, flawless. It really does help to blur the pores, which is a big deal for me. It also really helps to give you enough coverage to kind of like cancel out maybe any dark circles, maybe some imperfections on the face, but leave it looking natural without feeling too heavy. Today I've got a lot of makeup on, so I don't think that's representing maybe as well as normally I could, but I really love this foundation. I think it does a beautiful job. And the way I discovered it was not going through the Natasha Denona Sephora high-end foundation lines online. It was through the BoxyCharm pop-up. But I love getting things on a deal to one, discover, do I like it to put full amounts of money to it, but also two, to recommend it to you guys. So those of you that don't get BoxyCharm or get it anymore, you can know if you are looking for something that is a nice high coverage that helps to blur, helps to make us still look our best even when we're being more neutral, easy breezy, these work great. So I've been sharing a lot of things I love, which means 
sometimes then we have to balance that with some fails. And mascaras for me are where I can, I can be picky because I know I can get amazing, amazing mascaras for $4.99 at the drugstore. Um, CoverGirl apparently has a brand new ma mascara out that everyone is loving too. I haven't tried that yet, but I can be picky and help you save money with mascaras. At least it helps me from feeling like I have to spend extra money on mascaras because I've tried multiple now. One of them's really high end that is gonna be controversial because this is like the product that this brand is almost known for, I believe. And then another high end one and then one that's a little polarizing because of a BoxyCharm re-gift. We've gotten it a second time now. I think I've got three of these now. Let's talk about mascaras. Where do I start? Where do I start? I don't like any of them, so I don't know where to start. All right, this one won't be shocking. I've tried this now two or three times, and I try it again every, like, I don't know, two years or so, just to see maybe I've changed my mind, because a lot of you love it. It's one of your diehards. You can't live without it. You swear by it. For me, maybe it's my hair. Maybe it's just the way I apply makeup. It is always way too clumpy for me. And it is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I know, I'm sorry. I can already hear some of you in my comments being like, but Nicole, that's my favorite. How do you still not like it? I keep trying and I just find, I don't know if I still have a photo or not, but if I do, I'll insert it here. It clumps them together. Not only does it clump them together, it like has little ball clumps on my lashes. So they never look the way I enjoy them to look, which is like fluffy, long. They don't have to look extra thick, really. It's just that wispy, lash that I really love from a natural look. This does not achieve that for me. And I know these are pricier because I've even bought one, I think on an Ulta 21 day sale a couple of years back just to retry it. Cause I do keep trying things that I know you guys love. <sighs> Unpopular opinion, a thousand percent. This does not work for me. It just clumps either my lashes together. So they look a little too spidery on me and it makes it looks like I have less lashes than I do, which that's never the goal, um, but also the clumps. There's clumps everywhere. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know a lot of you love it. I'm sorry. I, I do keep trying though because of you, because you tell me you love it. I do keep going back and giving it the old college try. It's probably, it's probably a me thing. It's a Nicole body chemistry thing. It must be, it must be. I told you guys I love this. Or I liked it enough that when I got it and there's a repeat and a boxy charm, I wasn't gonna be mad about it. Update, I'm mad about it date. Mad about it. It was meh. Okay. I was going to wait for it to thicken up. Cause a lot of, you know, my theory and philosophy on mascaras is you got to give it a minute. You put it on, you see how it does the first few times, but then you let it live its life. You know, you keep giving it the college try because midlife for mascaras is usually where a lot of them can really thrive. This was maybe good for a week when I was like, oh yeah, now I'm getting into that good part of the mascara life. And then it went so clumpy, I almost got mascara all over my face because I don't know what happened. I don't know. This is the Trace Stique like combo. It is a mascara that also has an eyelash curler to it. So I even said, I'm not going to be mad about getting a repeat because I think we got it like years ago and they're like, you don't get the same thing within 12 months or whatever. Well, I'm like, this is a repeat. This got so clumpy on my lashes the other day when I had to quickly just apply some lashes um, and leave. Like I would just really quickly did a very fast face to go. And I was like, okay, I know I'm at the good part of this mascara. I can just put it in. It's going to give me some fluffy lashes and I can go. Even looking at the brush, it does not look inviting. It's got clumps all over it. I don't know if it's going to pick all of it up on camera here, but there, there are some clumpinesses. And at one point, s multiple times within the same application, the clumps didn't pull through and actually got stuck and like landed mid lash. And I was like, okay, if I close my eye, it's going to get all over that lower part of my lid and it's going to smear and the whole just really fast makeup look is going to be ruined. So I had to be like, don't blink, don't blink, don't blink, get it out. And then it happened again, trying to pull it through. And it just keeps doing that. It's kind of been a nightmare. I, I remember liking this a lot more than I did. So I don't know if it's just a little bit older than I thought it would be or what. Oh, but I'm pretty upset about this because this was something I was even like on camera. I don't mind getting this again. I kind of liked it. It was maybe good for a week and then you, you just, you turned, you turned. What happened? What happened? 
And I do believe I have one more of these. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. So that's, that's kind of an update for this. I'm sad. It failed me. I'm sad. All right. If I thought this was going to be polarizing in my comments, I know this next one will be too. You just saw the color, so you probably know Thrive. Thrive, you are known for your amazing mascaras because I think it's supposed to be really lengthening. And is it, I think this is like the Fibers Mascara. This is the Liquid Lash Extensions from Thrive Cosmetics. I do believe a lot of people love this because it gives you those amazing lashes. And it actually has a pretty nice wand to it as well. I'll say... I'm still going to keep using this. This is a newer tube to my collection because I wanted to retry it because I think I got it once in a subscription box, maybe. I can't remember which one it would have been right now because it was a while ago. And for me, what it did and what I'm noticing it doing again is it takes your lashes. It's, I think it's, is it a tubing mascara where it'll pull them all together and kind of lengthen, but on my eye shape, and maybe it's because I have such big old eyes, what that does is it makes my lashes look more sparse. It doesn't let them look full and luxurious or long. It just makes them look like I've got less lashes to play with. So maybe it's an eye shape thing. I never thought about that before, but I'm gonna keep playing with it. Again, It's I just brought it back into my collection in the month of April. I'll give you an update, but I know a lot of people are like, how do you not like this? What is wrong with your face? What's wrong with your eyeballs? I don't know. Again, maybe it's a me thing. I don't know. So I'm going to keep trying this, but I'm already reminding myself like, oh, darn it. I wanted to like you. I did. Just, I'm not there yet. Essence, $4.99. Fluffy, fluffy lashes that just complement my eye shape. Maybe that's what that is. I don't know. Okay, please don't hate me. Let's just remember makeup is subjective. All of our chemistry is different. Let's move on to other stuff now. Cheers. Because as we know, I still need to get into some BoxyCharm April base box goodness. Because this is the base box I pay for. I did get my PR box. I did showcase that in my previous BoxyCharm video that will be linked above, I'm sure. I got some goods and some bads in here. Also, in the name of BoxyCharm. Because sometimes it's just about the product. It's not about BoxyCharm. They put stuff in the box. We let people know this was a fail for me. This was a fave for me. This is how I used it. All the things. So a lot of times, if it's about BoxyCharm... It's about something different than it is about the makeup because BoxyCharm doesn't make the makeup. They just put it in the box for us. Shipping with BoxyCharm has been a struggle and I recently got a survey from Boxy about the premium box, I think specifically. And I did take the survey kind of letting them know, yeah, this past box did well. Previous ones, not so good this year, guys. Also with shipping, we really would appreciate it if you'd be more transparent about what's going on. You say that we're, you know, we don't get our shipping notifications till mid-month and then then it's still just chilling and the but the label's been created like that's not helping us we need more transparency what's happening i did get one repeat from the pr box which was this body wash that a lot of you guys were really great and helpful in the comments of that video and you were like hey try this as a face wash if you don't like it for your body because that's how a lot of you have said you liked it and i'm like thank you i do appreciate that um, so I do appreciate you guys letting me know your thoughts on that. And a lot of you said, oh, it does smell like Fruit Loops. Oh, you're right. And somebody said, well, that Fruit Loops smell is lavender. And I'm like, probably, but Fruit Loops. That's all I could think of. Fruit Loops. I did get one add-on <laughs> in this box. So I was starting to say I did get my add-on that I was looking forward to. But um, I was supposed to get two add-ons. I let you guys know, I believe last month, that I got two add-on things that I was super duper excited for. Um, one was the Natasha Denona Glow, and I got it this time in the shade Medium. Because the first time around, I did get it in the 01 shade, which is the highlighter shade, which is this gorgeous shimmer illumination for your face that's not overpowering. It's not that blingy 2016, 2017 highlighter, but it's that subtle you are glowing from within. You are a goddess. I love it. So a lot of people, well, half the people that I read in the reviews said if you get it in the darker shade, you can use it as a bronzer. And I was like, you guys know I love my Too Faced Shimmer Bronzer that I've hit so much pan on. I'm really considering doing a pan video soon about all the things I've hit pan on because I'm also trying to do inventory of what am I loving so much that I'm seeing pan, but also what do I need to repurchase soon? I, I need to know. Let me know if you're interested in that video below. But I did pick up the medium and this is something that I'm wearing today, so it's not necessarily from the box, but this is something that I did get with the box that I purchased from Boxy. So, you know, 
finally got here. Started my face with the Fenty Cashew Powder because it does give you that nice warming up to the face. Looks really natural and beautiful. And I think I used one other little bronzer just to do like not contouring, but give it a little bit more dimension to give me that cheek lift, you know, that that cheekbone that God forgot to give me, adding that back in. But then I also use this. I don't have any highlighter on today though, so I'm keeping that in mind. I'm trying to do balance. When you're using shimmery products, you do need to balance, especially if you're not trying to do too much on your face. And I have found this does warm up pretty nicely. Now I remember half of you saying you tried to get a darker one and it didn't work for you at all to be a bronzer. Is it because you only tried it as a, like, did you pair it with other things first to like do a little bit of a layer, do a little bit of some other non shimmery powders and then put this on? Or did you just use this? Cause this may not work for everybody in general, but I am finding I am able to use this, but I don't just jump straight into this after I've, you know, powdered down my face after foundation. I do set myself up for success with the cashew. That's also a very smooth blend of powder, but it does start to warm the face. And then maybe I'll just jump into this just to kind of give myself that, that glow and then be done. Or sometimes I'll just add a little bit more in like I did today. Cause I had lashes in this box. So I had to do a little bit more of a glam look today, as you can tell. And I was surprised that this does warm pretty well. I'm looking for the brush that I've been using. Um, because I was thinking maybe this won't warm up. Maybe it'll just be glowy like a highlighter. I have noticed that when I'm applying it into this region, it does give it a little bit of warmth and some luminosity, but it's not like sticking direct highlighter on my face, but it could be because I have used those other powders with it every time. I've been jumping into this Baddington brush because I think this Baddington brush is super soft. It's got a nice dome shape to it. It works beautifully for kind of like carving out that face. But I'm curious if I try to just stick it here on my hand, if it'll show up like a bronzer, like I'm trying to describe it as. I'll also swatch it with my finger, but I was just kind of curious. The shade I did get was 02 medium. I didn't go to the full darkest because when I went to the Natasha Denona website and saw the swatches on the models, I was like, oh, I think that's going to be more contoury too dark for it being such a shimmery product. So I did go with the medium. And I think you can see here how it does. And I do build it. I don't just do one swipe and be done. I do build it a bit. You can kind of see it right here. So it's got that medium tone to it, but it does have some luminosity. So I've, I've not gone straight in with it just because I know I'm oily and I got a lot of pores. Really enjoying this. I'll give you an update probably in a future video because again, this is newer to me as of like a week ago. So still getting to play with this, but really excited about it. But I did, um, get hosed on one of the products that I was really looking forward to. And it kind of leads into something else that we got here. Um, from the box, from my base box, I did get the studio makeup hydrating tinted moisturizer because I was really excited when I got this pure four in one tinted moisturizer. This blew my mind simply because I couldn't believe how much I could even build up to make it look like a foundation and only needed this. What a great glorious neutral day, right? So I started with this to tell you a little bit about this. That's why I think I picked this as a choice because I was excited for this. And in my add ons, I was supposed to get a deeper shade because the color that it came was the color I picked originally a month or two ago, but it is pretty fair. And now that it's warmer, I tend to get, you know, just a little bit tanner. So I was really looking forward to, I think like a more caramelly, um, shade. It said it shipped. I waited and waited. Finally, the box came, my Natasha Deneau and medium came and I was looking and looking and it wasn't there. So I immediately reached out to BoxyCharm to be like, hey, I think I'm missing something. Because before, as you guys know, or if you don't know, I was missing this originally. I think I was supposed to get this in January, but didn't get it until like March. So I was like, okay, it's gonna be another one of those situations because we're all seeing growing pains with BoxyCharm and Ipsy merging. We think that's what's going on behind the scenes. So I reached out to them and they responded really quickly, which was nice, but they also said, sorry, we're out of this. We're just gonna send you a refund which was super duper disappointing because as you guys know, we get these for a really great deal on the BoxyCharm add-ons and pop-ups when we get them. So it's not like I was getting a lot of value back in my bank account. It's probably like seven bucks or something like that, but I was really holding out for this product. And since it was supposed to be weirdly shipping with the box instead of separate, like they had been doing, I felt like I waited even longer for it. And I, I really wanted to be able to compare with these other things. So disappointed that they had to refund me because they said they were sold out. And I'm like, I let them know again. I was like, Hey, thanks for letting me know. I really appreciate um, when you guys are, you know, let us know things. And with the fast replies, because we know their customer service is trying to get better with faster replies, but 
I am disappointed. And I'm disappointed that I've waited this long because you didn't include it in the shipment. Now I have to have this when, when I purchased it, it was there. So, oh, these frustrating growing pains with Boxy. I hope they get better for both Ipsy and Boxy Charm because I know a lot of you that get Ipsy have let me know that those have been a struggle too. Um, the studio makeup I did try on a couple different times. I have a couple application um, clips of me trying this on. It is paler for sure. So next to that swatch, I will, uh, the pump doesn't work so great, even when you shake it. So I'm trying to get some of it out here. Come on, come on. A little dab will do you because it's, it's pretty, um, pretty thick. It just, um, I don't know how to describe this. It definitely just kind of melts into a little bit of nothing. It is tinted, so it is a tinted moisturizer. I think I was just really spoiled with that pure formula. Um, and it does also kind of light for me, but it's nothing I can't, can't work with. I can definitely work with it. It's on my face today underneath all of this goodness, and it's not detracted really. It maybe felt um, a little tacky, but nothing too crazy. Again, this is so new to my collection. I want to give myself a little bit more time to give you an in-depth review, but this is more of an unboxing with you from Boxy because this was, you know, so delayed. Another skincare products that I have on the body today. I kind of juiced it up a little bit with this. Oops, where's the card so I can tell you prices. I didn't even get the card out. The Studio Makeup Tinted Moisturizer is 35 bucks. I like that it has hyaluronic acid though, cause that'll really help with the skin. So again, I need a little bit more time to play with this to give you an update. And then this is the Eloise Beauty. This is the Get Glam Body Glow for $38. I also have a, have a clip of me trying this on this morning, um, pumping it out and applying it. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about this cause I do have a couple other things from like Touch and Soul that are a brand I'm more familiar with. But this really is pretty nice. The first time I tried it, I was kind of had low expectations. At least this pump works. It immediately gets it out and you only need a little bit. And it really juices up the body. It just gives you this nice glow. It's not too big of shimmers or anything. Like I'm always worried about too big, big of chunks of glitter or something. It doesn't really do that. I have it today on the shoulders on the chest here. And it's just kind of like a nice compliment and it tans you up a little bit. Uh, once we can maybe go some places this summer, I think this is gonna look great on the legs, maybe in a dress or with some shorts. I'm loving seeing how it juices up, you know, the shoulders and the decolletage, all that good stuff. I wouldn't put this on my face, but I'm acne prone, oily, and big poured. So for me, that's, this is just body. And I think it's mostly intended for body. Yeah, it says body glow. And it's definitely non-sticky. I was worried it was gonna be like super sticky. Um, you feel a little bit, but it's mostly just kind of like giving it that extra shine. It doesn't feel stickier at all. I like it. I also let you guys know, I was really, really hoping that in my paid for base box where I have that I like some neutral shadows, I was hoping I was going to get this palette and I did. It's the Natasha Denona. Is it the Ayana palette? Is that how you pronounce this? I am really enjoying this. I did use this as the main piece I used for my eye look today. I did use a lot of these shades. I think I used these four shades today. Really enjoying it. It is a powdery formula, but as you guys know with Natasha, that means it's very pigmented. This blended really well. I really like how the eye look came together. It was a little bit more of a sexy, sultry look than I intended. Because I think when I was filming those inserts for you, I thought my brush was going into this piece and I actually went into the darker one when I was warming up the outside. And I was like, okay, we're going smoky. We're going a little extra sexy today. That's all right. Makeup is fun. I'm enjoying playing with this one a lot and I wanted to give you guys an update because some of you were like, oh, I hope you get that one too. I was really excited to see that this came in my box. $48 value with Natasha. I am loving seeing Natasha in our boxes. I'm super sad though that it sounds like some of you didn't get any Natasha out of these past few months. And I would be checking my surveys and to letting them know like, hey, it is in my, my, my quizzes that I want nice makeup. What's going on? And the last thing I think I need to mention is the very obvious lashes. Um, I wore lashes in one of my last videos too. And you were, some of you were like, I couldn't tell what was going on different. And then when you said the lashes, I was like, yes, that's what it is. My face can hold and eat a lot of makeup. And it also can really hold some lashes, but I am not someone that likes to do them every day. I really haven't delved much into lashes a lot. So it's kind of funny that the past few videos I'm doing, I'm like, oh, I got lashes on because I've been trying stuff that I've been getting from Boxy. This came with two sets, two different styles of lashes. This is Fleur de Lashes Looks Cosmetics. These are the Monarch Lash Pack. These are a value of 38 bucks and they're definitely cruelty free. 
There are two styles in here. One was called Charmer and one was called Baby Girl. I have on the Baby Girl ones because they're a little bit more angled where there's like less up front and then outside they kind of get a little bit more flare. The Charmer ones are more rounded and they're kind of like floof all the way through. For me today, I just kind of thought this would work for the look I was going for. And again, I haven't used lash glue and lashes in so long that it was kind of like, how do I get these suckers to go? I think they look pretty nice. I don't usually have to like trim these or anything when I get lashes because I have really wide, big eyes. So for me, a lot of times I just need to plop them on, see where I can try to center them because they're usually not even big enough to get to the inside sometimes. So I thought these were a lot of fun. I did have to take them off to kind of reapply to make them even because that's always a struggle I have, especially when I haven't used them in a while. But they were super simple and easy to do. They did not come with the lash glue, but they do come with an applicator. The, usually the, um, if you're curious, the only lash glue I really ever use is the Duo and I prefer the one that has a brush on it so you can brush on the adhesive because otherwise I have the too much gene and I just squirt out way too much and it takes forever to dry. It has this little applicator that comes with it. I usually just use my fingers and tweezers, so I didn't use that today because um, I was trying to just remember how to do them. But these are kind of fun to have, and a lot of you guys were in the last video were like, girl, you should wear lashes. Get lash extensions or something. My face can hold a lot, I'm telling you. There's a lot. Oh, it's a heavy lift in face. <laughs> but they were pretty easy and fun to apply, so I was like, okay, Lord, this works. That's kind of fun. I think that is all of the boxy charm faves and fails and now I have to tell you about some fun lifestyle things. Some of these are updates because I needed to give you guys some more information after using products even more. I love doing that with makeup but also lifestyle things and I want to just be fully transparent with you. This brand I personally reached back out to and said hey my husband came out of the shower the other day. Too much information? Maybe. But he was like I think we're out of the soaps. And I was like, well, we have soap under the counter or whatever. And he's like, no, no, no. The soap that you got. The soap, the soap that you talked about. The, 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 the Melty soaps. Where are the Melty soaps? I, we're out of them. And I was like, okay, well, we can make another order. <laughs> when I reached out to the Melty soap company, because I told you guys that is a company that is from my hometown in St. Louis. I was like, hey, I just wanted you to know this is what just happened. YouTuber in the wild had this conversation with my husband that he was like, where are those soaps? because they are now his favorites. We even have some other handmade artisan soaps and they he was like, no, these are better than anything I've tried. And I've told you my husband's picky. He's picky with skincare. He's picky with hair care. He's picky with soaps. So we, I was talking to her and I was like, can I ask what spring collections you have coming out? And she was like, yes, absolutely. So I have to shout her out again. She did send these to me for PR. I love her soaps. My husband is so obsessed that he literally, like I said, was getting out of the shower. He's like, where's the soaps? Where are they? I'm so excited to get to share her spring collection because, oh my gosh, so many amazing soaps. There's already one that is in our shower right now that is the cutest thing you will ever see. I definitely shot some B-roll insert clips for you because I couldn't believe how cute they were. The April showers one is the one that is in our shower right now that my husband was immediately like, that's the one I need first. I absolutely need it. It looks like a little umbrella in a rainy day with some grass under it. And you can see the little handle piece. The cutest thing. She takes that next level of care with her soaps. Not only do they feel amazing on the body, not only does the scent just smell clean and fresh, but it also lasts in a positive way on your skin that you just smell so good after you get out of one of your showers, which sounds weird with soaps maybe, but I think we've all had those soaps that maybe smell good in the shower, but then you don't notice them later once you're dry. You do with these. They're just so good. The blue slushy is also so stinking adorable. The way I store these is in individual like zippies so that way they don't get wet or anything. So unfortunately I broke this straw on it, but I have some pictures of what it looks like. It is the cutest thing and it smells amazing. The blue slushy. Mm, these are just so great. I also have here rum by the fire. And you would be like, oh, but doesn't that smell like fire and smoke? No, it smells like, it smells like a clean version of it. I, I don't know how she does this. This is witchcraft and a bar of soap. It's amazing. Cosmic apple punch soap. I got this right before she even had a name for it yet. And she messaged me to let me know the name. Oh my gosh. 
fruit, clean, fruity smells. So good. I, I am obsessed with her soaps. My husband is clearly obsessed with her soaps. Um, I, we just, again, we have been using, you know, handmade luxury artisan soaps for years. And this is the first time, I mean, my husband was really passionate about some other brands that we used to get, even like in St. Louis that were small companies because we love supporting, you know, smaller businesses. But ever since he got these, he was like, these, these are my new favorites. I, I love them. And like I said, he, he immediately had to have the April showers one. Cause he's like, it's so good. I'm going to link her website and her Instagram below because she's always having fun, new things out for each collection. I love them. Had to give you that update. Had to, had to. And thank you so much, Mel, for sending these to me, mostly to Adam, because he immediately was like, well, I have to go take this now. Bye. I am super duper excited to say this portion of my video is sponsored by Rose Forever. I can't believe it. I was super excited when they reached back out to me and said, hey, Nicole, we have a Mother's Day special coming up and we wanted to be able to give to your subscribers again for being so awesome, being interested in these roses and give you a code so they can have an additional $20 off what was already going on on the Mother's Day sale. Cause I know so many of you guys were asking about it and actually Roses Forever was in my comments kind of answering some questions for you. Like how do these roses last a year and you don't have to do anything about it? I, I know. I love these, so I'm so grateful that they're sponsoring this portion of my video. And I wanted you guys to know that you can get these gorgeous roses and they come in a variety of colors and sizes. So if you want some roses that are red, they have red ones. If you want a bigger piece, cause mine's only a nine piece cause I live in a tiny house. If you want something that's massive, they have massive ones. And they're having such a fun Mother's Day sale. And some of you are mothers. So some of you may just want to start nudging your, your babe and be like, hey, Hey, it's Mother's Day. This is what I want. I was so grateful that they reached out to me and gave a code for you guys to get an additional $20 off of what's already going on for the Mother's Day sale. So the code below is Nicole20. I'm going to link their website and my code below for you guys to maybe share with your spouse. Be like, hey, that's what I want for Mother's Day. Or maybe you want to gift it off to your mom or a girlfriend, whatever you want to do with it. It's really nice to see flowers in your home every single day that you don't have to replace, that you don't have to do anything with. And I know a lot of you guys were like, hey, Nicole, give us updates too. How are they lasting in your home? I've been displaying these for over a month and they still look just as beautiful. They look just as nice and they're gorgeous displayed here in my home and I don't have to do anything to maintain them, which is even better. So check out my link below and the code so you can get even more money off of what they're already having on sale for Mother's Day. I was so happy they wanted to gift that to you guys. And thank you, Roses Forever, for being a sponsor for this portion of my video. Thank you, thank you. I now actually have one other thing I have to tell you guys about before I get into my shout outs. And that is something I never thought I could have in a tiny house. Honestly, if you are newer here, you may not know, I live in a tiny house on wheels in Tampa, Florida. So the real estate in this house is already small. What I have for this beauty space, even smaller than the average. So I never thought I could have one of these. And this company reached out to me and said, hey, I have something that I think may work for your lifestyle. And it's kind of a lot of people's because we've all been pooped up for about a year now. And some of us are wanting to travel, even if it's just by car. Some of us have a lot of skincare because we get BoxyCharm and they send us all the skincare. So this is a very versatile product that I didn't know could be as versatile as it is. You can actually get this product on Amazon, but I'm going to have a discount code for you too. This is Frere's mini fridge. And I'd seen a lot of YouTubers having mini fridges. This isn't like a new concept by any means, but this one is different. This one not only is a refrigerator, but it's also a warmer. So sometimes you're wanting to do a skincare mask that needs to be warmed. Well, it does a warming feature on this baby. I was like, what? But the biggest mind blower for me is that it has a handle, it has multiple inputs, so you can actually put this in your car. That was the first thing I did was when I got this little fridge, I put it in the back of my SUV and I do have a plug in the back of my SUV because we do live in Florida, we're not doing any traveling anytime soon. So we kind of want to do like some trips here and there that are drivable for us. So how cool is it that we can just plug in this fridge into the back of our SUV where we would be storing our stuff anyway with our coolers and whatnot and keep drinks cool, keep some food fresh, keep fruit and veggies fresh when we're going to the beach to have just like a little picnic. I thought that was the coolest feature because I've only thought of these mini fridges for skincare. 
like keeping it in my bathroom. And I was like, I just don't have the space for that. So when they showed me the size of it, they let me know all of these functionality features to it. I was like, oh my gosh, I want to see if I can make this work for my lifestyle. And if I feel like if I can fit this into my world where it's a tiny house, I don't have anywhere to keep extra things. This would probably be something you guys would be interested in too, because it's a fridge, but it's also a warmer. You could keep it in your house. You could keep it in your car. It's got a lot of features. I had no idea that this was even like a thing. So like I said, I did try it in my car just to see how it all worked, kind of show a little bit of the features of the product. But now I do keep it literally right here under my desk where I keep a ton of my skincare. That was another bonus for me, which maybe it wouldn't be for you, but it is for me. But a lot of you let me know you have small beauty spaces. So I'll just mention this as well. I run out of space a lot to store all of the skincare we get from our friends at BoxyCharm. A lot of the time I'm like trying to remember what I have, what have I already used, what worked well for me, what didn't, and I feel like I have to juggle a lot of that and I'm doing reviews for you guys. So I wanna keep it as organized as possible to give you the best information in depth as possible. So I love not only can I keep my skincare in there, but it helps to have another place to put it that makes sense. Okay, I can put this eye cream on the top shelf that I'm trying or loving and know that I love. And then when you apply it on your skin first thing in the morning, it helps to cool, it helps to soothe. Maybe it'll help with puffiness if you wake up a little puffy in the mornings. Or if you like to do your evening like masks and you like to keep them fresh in there, it's gonna feel even better on your skin and even provide some more benefits to your skin sometimes, depending on what you're using. So I'm keeping this here in my tiny beauty space. It stores a lot of extra skincare that it helps me to remember what I have, I can see it displayed, and then I can pick and choose what I'm needing for that season, for that moment, what am I reviewing for you? So it's like another place to organize and keep my, skincare and it comes in a variety of colors too i specifically asked for the white one because i figured if i could make it work it would work in this tiny beauty space where a lot of stuff is white so i did ask for the white one but i think they have a pink one a blue one a black one there's a variety of color options for you for the front um door piece of it you can check it out for yourself at the link below, but also there will be a code down there for you to use to get 10% off. So I thought you guys would enjoy that too. The versatility of this just shocked me. It's not just like a regular fridge that I see every other YouTuber had. And for me and in my world, that worked better. Whew, I feel like I've been going through a lot of different products with you guys from skincare to makeup to faves to fails. But now I definitely need to be shouting out some of you guys. If you are still here for this portion of the video, I love talking to you guys every single video, every week. I'm always chatting with you guys. I may not always get to reply back to every single person because they kind of come throughout the week, but I'm so appreciative of you guys. An anti-whip viper? Girl, you are always in my comments. I always see you giving me your thoughts, really appreciating the work I put into my videos and, and just kind of giving me some love and support. So girl, I appreciate you. Forgive me if I say your name wrong. Tiani Ortiz? Girl, you comment multiple times sometimes in a video. I feel like we're kind of just having a chat throughout the video because you'll be in one part and then you'll comment something and then the next part will come and you'll be like, oh, and this is my thought on this and oh, I got this. I love that. I love knowing where you guys are at with your makeup journey, what you're thinking about products, giving me feedback on my thoughts and processes. So you guys are awesome. I really love the community that is really growing here on my channel because you guys are so positive. And even if we disagree on makeup, like unfortunately some things don't work for all of us, you give great tips, you give great like alternatives and things like that. You guys are awesome. And I'm so grateful for this entire community. Literally every week, you guys make this possible for me to wanna to keep doing this all the time. I love chatting with you guys every single week. And if you happen to be new to my loud, weird, crazy, unique channel, hi new friends, I do hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on all of these faves fails, updates, reviews, the whole thing, and you just never know when you could be shouted out next in my face and fails. Bye, friends.